Today, we're journeying through one of the universe's most tantalizing mysteries. How might aliens make first contact with Earth? But we're not just looking for a simple extraterrestrial, hello. Oh no, we're going full throttle into the world of potential alien invasions. Picture this, the enigmatic grey aliens with their stealth and intellect, the bold and assertive green aliens, and the technologically unmatched alien-robot hybrids. Each group offers a wildly different approach to their earthly debut. Think about this. We're scanning the cosmos with huge radio telescopes, waiting for a signal that sticks out, a cosmic SOS or a simple hey there from an alien civilization. It's like tuning into the universe's radio station, anticipating a signal that bridges the vast cosmic divide. But why stop at radio waves? Advanced civilizations might use lasers to communicate, sending light messages zipping across galaxies. Catching one of these would be like discovering a cosmic message in a bottle, a light show with an interstellar secret. Let's flip the script. Our own Voyager and Pioneer probes are out there with maps and greetings from Earth. Now imagine stumbling upon an alien probe right here in our solar system. It's like finding a galactic traveler's lost diary, a direct link to an extraterrestrial culture. Now let's talk about neutrinos, those sneaky little particles that glide through space. If aliens are using these for long-distance cosmic chats, picking up their conversation would be like listening in on the universe's most secretive phone call. And our astrobiologists, they're the Sherlock Holmes of space looking for life's chemical fingerprints on distant exoplanets. Detecting gases like oxygen or methane might just be us sniffing out the scent of alien life. Here's where it gets really interesting. What if aliens are using the language of the universe, mathematics, to communicate? It's like decoding a message written in the stars, a galactic hello in the language of physics. But wait, there's more. Imagine civilizations so advanced they're building megastructures around stars to harness energy. Spotting something like a Dyson Sphere would be like catching a glimpse of an interstellar architectural wonder. Now, taking a leap into the unknown, exploring some wildly imaginative scenarios about how we might first encounter aliens. Imagine you're gazing up at the stars and suddenly, out of nowhere, a massive alien spaceship appears, hovering in the sky like a scene straight out of a sci-fi blockbuster. This would be more than just a jaw-dropping spectacle. It would forever change our understanding of life in the universe. We'd finally have an answer to the age-old question. Are we alone? Now let's dive into the realm of quantum physics with the concept of quantum entanglement. What if aliens use this mind-bending phenomenon for instant communication across the vast expanse of space? We're talking about receiving messages at speeds faster than light, a cosmic version of instant messaging that's so advanced it's almost beyond our comprehension. For years, crop circles have been a source of mystery and intrigue. Are they merely intricate works of art created by humans, or could they be something more like messages from otherworldly beings? The possibility that these complex patterns might be alien postcards is an exhilarating thought. Space is incredibly vast and its mysteries are boundless. Imagine if we received a message that was sent by an alien civilization thousands of years ago. It would be like opening a time capsule from a distant past, a message that traveled through time and space to reach us. And then there's the concept of higher dimensions as proposed in string theory. What if our first contact with aliens comes from a dimension beyond our current understanding? This kind of contact could be happening right under our noses and we might not even be aware of it. Let's ponder the zoo hypothesis for a moment. The idea that advanced alien civilizations are out there, observing us from afar like we're part of a cosmic wildlife reserve. And think about the prime directive from Star Trek a policy of non-interference with less advanced species. Could these concepts explain why we haven't seen a UFO landing on the White House lawn? The anthropic principle suggests that the universe we observe is compatible with our existence, but this brings us to the Fermi paradox. With such a vast universe, why haven't we encountered extraterrestrial life yet? It's a paradox that challenges our understanding of the cosmos, and let's not forget about wormholes, those hypothetical shortcuts through space-time. What if these are the cosmic highways that aliens use to travel across galaxies? While still a theoretical concept, the idea of wormholes as a means of interstellar travel is an exciting prospect that could bring the stars within our reach. Now zooming into one of the most electrifying scenarios in the universe of extraterrestrial speculation, how grey aliens, those beings from beyond our world, might plot an invasion of Earth. So let's embark on this. 
let's start with their spacecraft. Imagine grey aliens equipped with the ultimate cloaking devices. Their ships could be hovering right above us, watching, studying, and we wouldn't have the slightest idea. They're like the ultimate cosmic spies, invisible yet omnipresent. Now think about these greys walking among us. They might have technology so advanced they can look just like us. That person next to you on the bus, in the coffee shop or at the park. They could be a grey in disguise, gathering crucial intel about humanity. It's like something out of a spy thriller, but on a galactic scale. But it's not all about physical observation. Consider the possibility of them launching a digital assault. What if they could take down our satellites, plunging our world into a state of disarray with no internet, no GPS, no communications? It'd be chaos, a modern world suddenly disconnected. The Grey's invasion might not even be the overt blockbuster movie type. They could be infiltrating our society, secretly influencing our leaders, or maybe they're engaging in the most clandestine operation of all, creating a hybrid species, merging their DNA with ours. It's a silent invasion happening right under our noses. And here's where we cross the boundary into the truly sci-fi. What if greys aren't just extraterrestrial but also interdimensional? This means they have access to technologies and dimensions beyond our current understanding or perception. Imagine if they could manipulate not just space but time itself. Lastly, let's talk about how they communicate. Quantum entanglement could be their intergalactic walkie-talkie. Instant communication across the stars, no delay, no static, just clear immediate connection. It's like having the universe's most advanced communication network at their fingertips. All right, everyone, gather around because we're about to explore a scenario straight out of a blockbuster movie, an invasion by the green aliens. This isn't your everyday alien encounter story. It's about an all-out high-stakes invasion that could change the course of humanity. Let's dig into this. Imagine waking up one day to news that sounds like it's straight from a sci-fi script. Thousands of colossal ships are parked up in Earth's orbit casting massive shadows across continents. That's right, green aliens have just made their grand entrance and boy, they know how to make an impression. But these green aliens aren't just here to float around and look intimidating. Picture this, they start showing off their power in the most dramatic ways. Maybe they turn a patch of the Sahara Desert into glass with a single beam from their ship, or light up the night sky with a display of their weaponry that's both terrifying and awe-inspiring. It's their way of saying, hey Earth, we're not just here for a visit, we mean business. Next up, these aliens get down to the nitty gritty. We're talking about them marching into our major cities and strategic spots. Picture alien soldiers strolling into Times Square or setting up camp outside national landmarks. And their gear. It would make our most advanced military tech look like something from the Stone Age. Now let's talk about motivation. Why are they here? Maybe they're eyeing our resources, water, minerals, you name it. Or perhaps they're in the market for a new planet and think Earth could use a makeover to suit their needs. Either way, it's not great news for us. This is where humanity's story gets really interesting. Faced with a common enemy, we'd see alliances forming across the globe. The kind that would put any action movie to shame. And you can bet there'd be resistance. Brave souls using guerrilla tactics, fighting back against these high-tech invaders, defending our home turf. All right, folks, strap in because we're about to explore how an invasion by alien robot hybrids could unfold. It's a tale that mixes the best of sci-fi with a dash of futuristic nightmare. Let's dive into this techno-thriller scenario. Imagine this. Alien robot hybrids, a blend of biology and machine armed with superintelligent AI. It's like they've got the ultimate chess computer, but they're using it to strategize an invasion of Earth. They'd be looking at our planet and seeing all our vulnerabilities laid bare ready to make their move. Now picture waking up to a world where all our digital lifelines, the internet, cell phones, even ATMs are suddenly hijacked. It's like the aliens have not just hacked into our systems, they've turned them against us. Cities plunged into digital darkness, chaos spreading as fast as a viral video, but this time it's all too real. But wait, there's more. Swarms of drones filling the skies and streets. A synchronized fleet of alien tech, these aren't your backyard drones. They're like robotic birds of prey, thinking and adapting on their own. It's a scene straight out of a futuristic action movie. Only you're living it. And why would these aliens risk their own skin? They've got robots for that. We're talking about autonomous machines marching into battle, making split-second decisions. It's like having an army of Terminators only there on the alien side. Now let's talk survival. With the aliens cutting off our essentials like power and water, it's like we're thrown back into the Stone Age, 
but with a front row view of a high-tech invasion. Cities would become ghost towns with everyone scrambling to adapt to this new harsh reality. But these aliens aren't just here for a quick visit. Suppose they start terraforming Earth, reshaping our planet to suit their alien needs. We're talking about a complete environmental makeover, new atmosphere, new climate. The what is the most unusual way for Earth to be destroyed? We are going to dive into four different unexpected ways for Earth to be entirely obliterated. Some ways more expected than others. Regardless, I think there is going to be one way you are not expecting. Imagine a cosmic wanderer from the universe's dawn, a rogue black hole born amidst the chaos of the Big Bang. These theoretical primordial black holes are like the shadows of the cosmos, small, dense and elusive. They're not the colossal black holes anchoring galaxies, instead they're interstellar nomads, drifting silently, unseen by the stars they pass. Now picture this. One of these cosmic phantoms slips into our solar system. It's stealthy, lacking the glaring accretion disk of larger black holes. It doesn't emit X-rays, so we don't see it coming. The first hint of this intruder might not be a direct sighting, but odd gravitational effects. Astronomers might notice the light from distant stars bending strangely, a gravitational lensing effect hinting at the black hole's silent approach. As it weaves through our solar system, this rogue black hole's gravity starts playing cosmic billiards with the planets. Orbits stretch and warp, introducing a chaos unseen for billions of years. Planets and moons are flung about, some smashing into each other, others hurled into the sun or cast into the cold void of space. It's a grand-scale reshaping of our celestial neighborhood. For Earth, the changes start small. Maybe our year gets a few seconds longer, or our axis tilts a bit more. But as the black hole draws nearer, these shifts turn catastrophic. As our orbit becomes more erratic, Earth's climate descends into chaos. One day we're facing scorching heat, the next a deep freeze. Storms rage with unprecedented fury. Ecosystems collapse under the strain of rapid, extreme changes. Plant and animal life face a wave of extinctions. Our blue marble drifting ever closer to a rogue black hole. A cosmic intruder from the universe's infancy. As it nears, things start to get a little wild. The black hole's gravitational pull starts playing tug-of-war with our planet. We're talking about tidal effects like nothing we've ever seen. The oceans go haywire, creating colossal waves, while the ground shakes and volcanoes erupt like fireworks. It's like Mother Nature's having a temper tantrum on a planetary scale. Now here comes the really freaky part, spaghettification. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? As Earth gets pulled closer, it starts stretching and compressing like a piece of spaghetti. This isn't just a wild ride for thrill-seekers, it's the planet literally being pulled apart. And as we cross the event horizon, that's the black hole's point of no return, Earth transforms from a planet into a stream of atoms, a cosmic vanishing act. But here's the kicker, this is incredibly rare. The universe is huge and rogue black holes are like needles in a cosmic haystack. Detecting one of these space phantoms would be a game-changer. We might catch their gravitational waves, ripples in space-time, giving us a heads-up that something big is coming our way. And if we did spot one, well, it'd be a front-row seat to one of the universe's most mind-bending phenomena. We'd have a chance to test our theories about gravity, space-time, and black holes. Sure, it'd be a catastrophic event for Earth, but for scientists, it's the ultimate research opportunity. Advanced warning systems in the future might spot these cosmic wanderers before they become a threat, giving us time to prepare and study them. It would be a stark reminder of our place in the universe and the unpredictable nature of space. All right now, buckle up for a trip into the world of quantum weirdness with the strange matter infection scenario. It's like diving into a science fiction story, but with real quantum physics in the mix. Here's the deal. Strange matter might exist deep in the cores of neutron stars, where things are so squished together that quarks, these tiny particles inside protons and neutrons, get all cozy and turn into strange quark matter. If this stuff is stable enough, it could survive outside these extreme environments. Now picture a microscopic particle of this strange matter, maybe flung out by a colliding neutron star, drifting through space until it bumps into Earth. If this strange matter particle touches our planet, it might kick off a chain reaction, turning regular atomic matter into more strange matter. Think of it like a sci-fi virus, but on a quantum level. So what would happen to Earth? 
Well, theoretically, the strange matter would start converting Earth's matter wherever it made contact, spreading across the planet like wildfire. Earth, our beautiful blue home, would be completely transformed into a mass of dense alien strange matter. Mountains, oceans, cities, even us, everything would get converted. Now let's be real, this is super theoretical. Strange matter is still in the realm of we think it might exist, and the chances of it colliding with Earth are ridiculously small. But it's a mind-boggling idea, right? If it happened, it would be like Earth got rewritten by the laws of quantum physics. This scenario isn't just about the end of the world as we know it. It's a deep dive into the mysteries of quantum physics and the stuff that makes up the universe. It's about those extreme possibilities that exist within the laws of physics, even if they sound like something out of a sci-fi novel. Detecting a strange matter particle before it hit us would be a massive challenge. It's tiny, and we're not even sure what we're looking for. If we did spot it, it would set off a global scientific frenzy to figure out what it is and what it could do. Though whether we could do anything about it is another question. All right, let's talk about something that sounds straight out of a sci-fi thriller but is actually a real concept in theoretical physics, the vacuum decay catastrophe. This isn't just about the end of Earth, it's about a potential reset button for the entire universe. So here's the deal with the vacuum decay. Imagine our universe is in what's called a false vacuum state. It's kind of like sitting in a wobbly chair that feels stable but actually isn't. This false vacuum is thought to be just a temporary kinda unstable state. A true vacuum is more stable, lower in energy, and the universe really wants to be in that state. Now picture a random quantum fluctuation or some high energy cosmic event flipping the switch from false to true vacuum. This would kick off the creation of a bubble, a bubble that expands at the speed of light, and as it spreads it fundamentally changes everything it touches. We're talking about rewriting the laws of physics as we know them. Gravity, electromagnetism, nuclear forces, everything could be different inside this bubble. For Earth, and really anything in the universe, getting hit by this bubble means game over, but not in a fiery explosion kind of way. It's more like everything, every bit of matter, every form of energy, gets reconstituted based on a whole new set of physical rules. The catch? It happens so fast at the speed of light that we wouldn't even see it coming. One moment we're here and the next, poof, everything's changed. The aftermath of this vacuum decay would be a brand new universe, but it's likely to be a place that's totally alien to the kind of life we know. We're talking about a universe where the basic elements of life as we understand it might not even exist. Now, this whole vacuum decay thing is purely theoretical, and the chances of it happening are incredibly slim. But it's a fascinating concept that physicists and cosmologists love to ponder. It pushes the boundaries of what we think we know about the universe and plays into those big existential questions about existence, stability and change. Alright, let's dive into something straight out of a cosmic horror story. The Gamma Ray Burst Catastrophe. It sounds like science fiction, but it's actually a real, albeit incredibly rare, cosmic event. These Gamma Ray Bursts, GRBs, are like the universe's most terrifying fireworks. Massive, deadly and mind-blowingly powerful. So, what are GRBs? Picture the most violent and energetic thing in the universe. That's a GRB for you. They happen when colossal stars collapse into black holes, or when neutron stars decide to smash into each other. The energy unleashed in a few seconds could outshine entire galaxies. We're talking about a level of power that makes our nuclear bombs look like firecrackers. Now, let's talk about what would happen if Earth got in the way of one of these cosmic death rays, First off, it's super unlikely, space is big, really big, and GRBs are pretty focused. But if we did get hit by one, especially one from our cosmic neighborhood, it would be catastrophic. The gamma rays would slam into our atmosphere, potentially stripping away the ozone layer. That's our planetary sunscreen, folks. Without it, we're exposed to all the sun's harmful UV rays. But that's not all. This radiation could mess up the entire chemistry of our atmosphere, leading to drastic climate change, maybe even a global winter kind of situation. Now, as scary as this sounds, the chances of it happening are incredibly slim. We're more likely to win the cosmic lottery a dozen times over than get hit by a GRB, but astronomers are keeping an eye on these things. They use space-based observatories to study GRBs, trying to understand how they work and where they come from.